I, hmm. man, my motherfucking daughter would talk the shit to me the other day. I was like, bitch, I oh, don't you, know you. Oh, you talk, start back talking to her? No, mm-hmm. the bitch crazy. Oh, she just called you out the blue? Hell yeah, because she needed something. Dang. You should have gave him my number, man. You still on that looking for <laughs> oh, I believe I believe my daughter runs circles around me, boy. Oh, 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 oh shit. Man, she she taller than him. Shit, I mean, I brought taller. it up because she tried to run game on me. Like, she was brought up by her mama. But, you know what I'm saying? Instead of realizing I got away from her mama, because I don't speak to her mama. She be like, I know you hate my mama. I'm like, bitch, I ain't got time to hate nobody. Oh, this for you. Okay. Shit, what is it? Yeah. You know we got more money, right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's raining there. You're making it rain on her ass. You like to hear? What's your cash app? What's my cash app? Yeah. Um, do you have Apple Pay? Okay. Like 2000 should be enough, right? That, yeah. Yeah. He ain't gonna do it. He not gonna do that. You look so beautiful, baby. Thank you. She is not a deal breaker for me. I think the more I mature and the older I get, I'm realizing, like, asking somebody to be your person for the rest of your life when you start a relationship because i be looking for marriage so i'm looking for the rest of my life when i start a relationship with somebody because if you're not then you shouldn't be with that person this your podcast baby yeah we back <laughs> this your podcast we back in the building mm. this your uh. podcast Sipping on that whisper. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the name. Oh, man. Where's my where's my little clicky down here? It is, man. Yeah, you know I mean, as usual, welcome to Dish On Podcast. Hey. We got a great show for y'all. Definitely. You know what I mean? But before we get started, we need y'all to hit that like button. Make sure y'all like this yeah. show. Yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe to this you know show. Make sure you drop a comment. Drop a comment in this show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sit back, enjoy the show, enjoy the last with us tonight. Oh, you know how it is. We got some for y'all. Oh yeah, we got some. We we got we got some jewels. <laughs> we got some jewels. <laughs> yeah, look at out there. T in the building. Shout out to T. T in the building already. What's up? I was trying to get T sip on that woman oh, last night. Gee, she was scared of it. I don't drink anymore, so this this is super vicious to me. Like. <laughs> I'm I'm over here sipping like that's a, right. like a toddler. See that that's why you can't you can't come at it. You know you can't come at it hard. Yeah. Y'all. You gotta you know what I mean hit that thing with them little sippy sips. Yeah, this, this sippy cup definitely. <laughs> hey, listen as you coming in, make sure you drop that like button. Hit that like button. Yeah. So the other rookie can pick us up. Appreciate it. We yeah, appreciate I mean, get it the out love. there, everybody, man. We oh, we picking up some 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 new subscribers last. Okay. Night. Oh, man, we were doing. Okay. That. Shout out to the new subscribers. We love you. Mm-hmm. All. We appreciate you. Yeah, we love you. And as usual, we know we picked up a couple of trolls, but you know. Oh, uh, yeah. We love the trolls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hey, listen, man. One troll, one boy was like, oh, man, hey, you don't know what they talking about. Hey, everybody, everybody want a podcast? Listen, here, let me tell you this. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what makes it fun. <laughs> and is you hating because you mad or is you mad because you hating? Cause Either the, way. The easiest thing you could do is <laughs> turn your TV off or turn your your computer off or your phone or whatever yeah. to watch us we got we got fans so we are right. we, we appreciate you tuning in but you know, like jay-z said if you think you could do it then you know what i'm saying buy another one, make your own and other than that sit your black ass down and enjoy the show <laughs> sit your five dollar ass down before i make change before i make change <laughs> just stupid ass yeah. oh man uh, you know man i'm ready to get this started i'm, I'm ready i'm you ready, ready i've been ready all day yeah shit yo, you ain't the only one man i was, I was yeah. like i was in a gym listen hey yes t we're gonna have we're gonna have a sip for you t we're gonna, hey, listen to t i'm listening right now when we hit that 100th episode Ooh. You gonna sip on something? Ooh. I mean, you some wine cooler, <laughs> something? No, you gotta get some real. Now you know <laughs> this big dog talk over here. You can't be no wine cooler. You gotta get you at least a little Quavo or something regular. Yeah, yo, my guy, oh. Mister Perry is in the building. What's, What's good, up? broski? Hey, what's good? Should we wait for somebody else to come in real quick, or we just want to just? Kick I mean, it off listen, nah. it's up to you. I'm ready to go. I know the people are ready, so. Uh, man, then you know what? Say no more, Don. Yeah, you know I mean, let's let Peanut start it off as usual. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. This is what I get for going out on a Z instead of going um, to work. Yeah, they fuck them out. 
It's a stolen vehicle. Oh! What you mean, sir? Like, what do you mean? I still accuse I think you know what that cop means, lady. I don't gotta pay mad money. This man should have just gave me, like, this. Mm, this is why I cannot go on dates. I do not go on dates because this is exactly why. What do you mean if he's in a stolen vehicle? Like, what do you mean? First of all, it's a uh, um old Honda. You got me in a Honda stolen name. Yeah. I could say it was like a Benz, like a BMW, but you got me in a stolen Honda. Oh, she would have to take a stolen Benz or BMW. <laughs> Looking at me as they walk by, I knew they would laugh because I would have been laughing too. How many times you gonna pat that head down? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm actually gonna pat that head down. Hey, listen, man. Oh my God. Listen, you see, young lady should have took your ass to work. Number one. Instead of trying to, you know, get some free meal, you should have got some of that money. Mm -hmm. Worry about getting that free meal. And it ain't nothing wrong with him picking you up in, in, in a Honda. It could have been. It could have been a Kia. It, it could have been, been a stolen a Kia. It could have been a bus. Like <laughs> at least he was trying to make something happen. Yeah, let me tell you something, man. I applaud that young man's ambition. I do. I'm I'm gonna get on this date <laughs> no they, matter what. They say you got <laughs> by any means necessary. By any, by any means he necessary, said, I'm gonna listen, pick up these skins. I see Shorty with the blonde. I gotta get her. <laughs> like I gotta make it happen. Now number two, why is she posting this on, <laughs> on on social media when she should be at work? If our boss see that, oh, oh so you oh, riding around with oh. dudes and stolen cars? Oh, yeah, pink slip. See you. <laughs> she got to chill, number one. Stop posting everything. That's number two, I'm sorry. Come on. like If he stole a car to take her somewhere, hey, my listen. question is how much money? Where are they going to eat? Because if he ain't got the car. <laughs> listen, that's why. She going to the Cheesecake Factory? Look, he said, look, man, I'm going to get on this motherfucking date. <laughs> I don't buy any means necessary. <laughs> he hit the Malcolm X by any means Jesus, necessary. He said, listen, I got to make it happen. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, hey, look. Listen here, young lady. You, you, he could have picked up in a stolen BMW. No. Had you all googly eyed and everything. Oh, I'm riding in the bed. Like, riding in a stolen bed. <laughs> didn't he, why didn't he uh, prep her for that information? Listen, you know, we, we out here, we riding dirty. So <laughs> just be careful. Like, if you see some chill, like, she was totally caught off guard. Like, I'm, listen. Yeah. I seen, uh, I don't, I this sound like they was from New York. I don't know the prices in New York, but I seen yeah. on Toro, you could you could rent a, a Tesla for like 70. Work? Yes. Well, see, if he would have did that, though, he wouldn't have had no money to take her out. I mean, he could have just rode around in the yeah, car. Then. Hey. She ain't got to worry about getting pulled over by those people. <laughs> he was doing too much. She did know. She knew that car man, was stolen. Right Listen to this. <laughs> for all my youngins, man. For all my youngins, man. For one, if you get in the car, just look at the uh, the ignition. If the ignition is popped, run around in a stoley. Uh, Apple, uh... <laughs> Phone uh, cord. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, how the young boys are stealing all the kids, but putting the phone cord and all that. Man, just y'all gotta tighten up a little bit. Yeah, but you know, but the young boy, he should have man. Look, I would have picked her up in the lift and like, nah, baby, I ain't. He ain't got wanna, no brother. We weren't all night. Brothers, no cousin, nobody with a car. <laughs> and then you shit. <laughs> like, I, bro, I, listen, I ain't even got, I ain't even got fifty on me. But when I get fifty, I pay you back like something. <laughs> Come on, get Reese. My God, what's good, bro? Ski. Uh, yeah, you know that right. this is your own podcast. Hey, listen, man, drop a like, drop a comment, tell us what you think. Yeah. I, I want to ask this question. I want, want you know, all of our friends out there, let us know. Did she know that if if that was a stoli or not? <laughs> hey, I want to know. Drop a comment. Tell us what you think. If it was a stoli, think uh, I don't know. I I can't call. It. I don't know if she did or not. I think she knew, bro. <laughs> I think she knew, bro. Hey, should we slide yeah. to that in the video number let's two? Go, go to the next. Yeah, one. yeah let's go. Yeah, we're peanut at. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. Man, my motherfucking daughter was. Oh, that my boy right there. <laughs> oh, you, you, know you start you. talking, start back talking to him? No, the bitch crazy. <laughs> oh, she just called you out the blue? Hell yeah, because she needed something. Hey, you should have gave him my number, man. You still on that looking for <laughs> <Man. laughs> I believe I believe my daughter runs circles around me, boy. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Ooh. Ooh. Him for sure. Yeah, she ain't taller than me. Oh, yes, yes. She is not taller than me. Oh, the last time she was here, I got a picture. She, she and I standing next to each other. See how tall she is. I mean, she's I tall. brought it up because she tried to run game on me, like she was brought up by her mama. But 
you know what I'm saying? Instead of she probably tried to pull the slick shit away from her mama because I don't speak to her mama. She be like, I know you hate my mama. I'm like, bitch, I ain't got time to hate nobody. <laughs> your mama was drama. Now here it is, all these years later, you just like your mama. Both of y'all can kiss my motherfucking ass. I don't make another. Damn. Point. I don't give I a fuck. I can make a new girl. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> if you ain't good as a person, no matter who you are, I have a cutoff switch. God mm. bless me with to say fuck you, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if it's my kid. My motherfucking mama. You know your daughter trying to get in touch with you? I say, oh, mama. I'm that bitch. Damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah, see, it's, 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 I get where you guys are coming from you because I had the same thing. You topic. watch that little bitch. That bitch is brought up in this new generation <laughs> where there is no honor. There is no respect thy parents. There is no, there is no, the way, the way the youngsters are brought up now. They will mm. fuck over the mama and daddy quicker than they'll fuck over somebody in the streets. Right. Mm. Yeah, I got to get What the fuck? I don't give a fuck. If you are so hell bent mm -hmm. in making me a villain and saying I did you wrong, get the fuck away from me. I didn't love your mama. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you cooking him. He you cooking. just popped up on a nigga. <laughs> you just popped up on a nigga. <laughs> I try to show you love. <laughs> I, shit, you come out here. I did all this shit for her. She was still talking shit. So I'm just saying, it's like, I'm not like everybody else. I don't need your acceptance. Somebody said to me, fuck it. My mama said to me today, Corey, later in life, you might need your daughter. I said, if I need that bitch, I'm done for. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> A lot of motherfuckers might not say this. No, and it's hard for others to relate because you, you mm -hmm. motherfuckers out here with kids, time, you know your kids ain't shit. <laughs> your kids run over you, and you know they run over you, and you let them run over you, and you justify by saying these yep. my kids. Exactly. Now or with me, mm. if I got somebody, I capitalize every letter in somebody. Mm. If somebody running over me, I'ma tell them. I'm about to take a shit. Get over here fast. Because <laughs> I want to shit on you. <laughs> give a fuck who you are. You don't get to fuck me over. I ain't, I don't give a fuck. This is my time on this planet. I ain't finna be worried about your funky ass, whoever the fuck you are. If you ain't no righteous motherfucker, I don't give a fuck if it's, a, if it's your child or whoever it oh, is. The same way. Mm -hmm. Get mm -hmm. the fuck away from me. Especially when you grown. You same can have a little right. patience yeah. with your child. Sometimes you can beat a child up and get away with oh it. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> I'm saying, but when, when motherfuckers is 20, 25, 30, yeah. they adults. talking crazy to you, mm -hmm. if yeah. you let them hang around you because they're your kids, that shows human weakness in you. Yeah, I, I got to give it. Listen, I got to give it to him. I got to give it to him. For one, I don't give it my child, someone else's child, my second, third, fourth child. I'm a grown ass man. You are not going to disrespect me. Period. Listen, Period. At the end of the day, I think what, what people like Corey Holcomb, Kevin Samuels, I think people pay more attention to their delivery and not really the message. And at the end of the day, you know, there's there's a caveat to it. But at the end of the day, if I'm your parent and I took care of you, I made okay, sure you had what you needed, all that stuff. There's no way in the world you coming at me crazy and I'm just going to take it. At the end of the day. A dog is due respect. I birthed you and took care of you, and you think you're gonna talk to me like I'm just any old body? You got oh, you me lost your mind. fucked up. Yeah, you, you lost your you, mind. You tripping. And so at the end of the day, I see people all the time. Kids be super disrespectful, and they be brushing it off. And I'm, yeah, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Man. Some children would do horrible shit to their parents. I, I've seen horrible it. shit to their parents. I've and I believe it. if a parent continues to be a crutch for their child. You set you setting yourself up for some serious disrespect. Yep. Yep. Serious disrespect, yep. man. I boy, I wish my children would have tried to run me over like that. Boy, you lost your motherfucking rabbit as mine. Like when I say rarely, it is like once in forever that I have to even like raise my hand at my kids. I don't even have to beat them. Not fear. I still respecting them. So sometimes I might be man, aggressive. I'm about that fear. Bro. <laughs> I put that fear in. Let me let me tell you a quick story, bro. I my son was two years old, man. And he was in his high chair. This was the first 
and last time I ever had to lay a hand on my son. He was sitting in this high chair and he was spitting food. And I was like, boy, stop it. Kept doing it. Boy, stop. Uh, you know what? I got you. I'm going to get your ass. And when he got out that high chair, well, I came up behind him, boy, lock out. <laughs> that pamper went flying in the kitchen. <laughs> he was sitting there in the middle of that living room naked. He looked around. Well, he was shocked. Like, what the, what the hell just happened to me? <laughs> that was the first and last time I ever had to lay my hands. One time in my 21 years that he was on earth, one time he plucked me in the back of my damn ear. <laughs> Fuck you out. I mean, he hit my my ner central nervous system. My brain started blinking. I was mangled, <laughs> and that's all because yeah. I was I was supposed to go to my own house. On the way to my own house, they was playing basketball. I I lost track of everything. I started playing uh, basketball, I was hooping. He came around that corner, and boom! That one pluck. That was all I need, and it was just a thing. Like even to this day, I just don't see what would make me want to disrespect my mom. Like, even if she say something crazy to me or whatever, it's still a level of respect that I got for her that I'm never crossing the line. These kids today is like, bro, Man, they, be they got everything. Shit. They got Xbox, PlayStation, no. tablets, phones, uh, Balenciagas. They eat uh, They eat DoorDash every day. They don't work. They don't do nothing. They don't, they don't have to earn anything. And they still be talking reckless. <laughs> And just be like, bro, like at the end of the day, I'm the Man, parent. Ain't no way in. Working my bus in my ass. You think I, I'm going to bust my ass, come home, you sitting on the couch, eating out the ice cream bowl. You going to talk crazy to me? <laughs> well, I'm joking this year. Look, man, ain't no way in hell I will be able to talk back to my mom. To this day, I still can't talk back to my mother. Listen. You know what I mean? To this day, I'd be like, boy, how wild to say it. To the day. You know, my knock your damn wisdom teeth out. Listen, let me tell you something. Man. When I was in high school when... I said some fly to my mom. I was like a senior in high school. And you know, she she slapped me in the face. And I looked at her, I'm, like, I'm like, mom, what are you doing? She slapped me in the face. Mom, 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 that that, that ain't work. She, she was like, boy, for you. she called my uncle. I said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna chill right now. <laughs> Wait, did you just call for backup? Yeah, 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 I'm gonna chill right now, boy. I didn't know, know you was coming boy, with that yeah, She put up the bat signal. I, yeah, yeah you know, I'm fucking my uncle Donald. Poor <laughs> on me. I wasn't, wait, I wasn't ready for yeah. that. <laughs> nah, listen, I ain't have a dad. <laughs> but I had an uncle, boy, and he'd light you up. These kids don't understand. <laughs> and they, they cool. don't understand. That's why you should not be a friend to your, to your children. Number one, really a proponent of it. Whoop they ass. Whoop them kids ass. I'm I'm I listen. Whoop they ass. They showing off. Whoop they ass. And you know which kids you need to whoop. <laughs> All kids don't need to be whooped. You could you could scream at some of them. You could threaten them. I'm gonna go get the belt. That'll be enough. But some of these kids, they need their asses whooped. Yeah, listen, let me take make it happen. Man. You need to whoop their ass even they ain't do nothing. Because you're going, you're going to do, do something in the future. So I'm about to whoop your ass anyway. I'm going to give you a credit. Put this one in the back. That's whooping. Back pocket. <laughs> Not my kids. I raised my kids. That's right, T. Raise your children with respect. That's it. That's all it is. You can, you know, you can make mistakes, but there's a difference between a mistake and some, something you did on purpose. And you yeah. know the difference. But I mean, but to what Holcomb said, even even if you're not get, getting along with the, 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 ch the child's mother, and you're trying to build a relationship with with your child, with your daughter or your son, and they're just it's it's just not working, or are they just acting disrespectful because maybe they just I don't want to say got on the mother's side. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you got to cut them off. Or you got to cut them off, bro. Or at least have a conversation with them first. Like, what's up? Like, bring them to the side. What's going on? You can talk to me. Tell me whatever. Yeah, let them let them get it out. But them yeah. try to find out. Now, if you tried and you've done all you can do. And they just still being reckless. Oh, cut Listen, them off. Man. Yeah, cut them off. Listen. I don't care you my child or not. You get your ass out. As, as an adult, once you become an adult, that title don't mean nothing because you know what respect is. So if you don't mm -hmm. if you don't want to respect me as dad, why do I need to respect you as child? Like, yeah. what's the order and, here? And, and, and listen, you better not call me by my first name. Please. Well, it's Choke City out this Please. motherfucker, boy. Yeah. This is your own podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Subscribe. Us. Yeah. We slide this slide to slide to that next Let's one, go. dog. Next we rolling here. Yeah. Hey. Hey. It's this June mm. podcast. You heard what Gia said. Oh. Let's go. This bill is only one fifteen, and he telling me to pay for my own food. It's, ooh, you got a bum. You got a bum broad. Dude. You I mean, you got a bum here. dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's only. It's only. You got alopecia. But so what? It's the he point you brought me done. here. <laughs> Why would I pay for my own food? I got money, but. 
It's a three long island on here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you okay, but you asked me, what do I drink? Like, I didn't know I was paying for my own stuff. I mean, I, Man. I had the transportation. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not even paying for my own stuff. I don't even care. I can't believe this, y'all. This is real. Like, this is. He's saying really, I had the transportation. He really here. telling me to pay for. It costs like $30 in gas to come. Oh out. my oh, god, nigga. Where did you drive? To, uh, Oklahoma? <laughs> you went from Oklahoma to, 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 to Texas. I might as well pay for it all. I want to ask you something. If you went out to eat, what to do? If a dude brought you out to eat and he said, Are you paying for your own stuff? Wouldn't you be like, me that happened to me before. It happened oh. to me before too, and it's happening right now. Damn! <laughs> you need to stop going out, girl. You picking the wrong nigga. <laughs> uh, I'm about to pay the whole thing because it's like I want you to know that I got money. There you go. I mean, if that's what you want to do. Just, just, I'll pay the whole thing. Just are you gonna treat him like a hoe? Yeah, go. trick his ass. Bro, I, I told you, I didn't. That nigga ain't have a tip. Man, you know, I'll let you start that off, though. I'll let that off. I, I, I'm coming in after you, dog. Normally, <laughs> I'm riding with the brothers. We're going to ride to the wheels fall. <laughs> this Negro right here, stop falling for the broke, the broke dude. I'm going to just be a little raw right here. Stop falling for the broke nigga uh, starter kit. He had the yeah. chain and the fresh clothes and all, but he talking about it costs thirty dollars in gas. It don't cost thirty dollars to get you from where you was at to where they was where you was at. Uh, yeah, no, where, like, come on, bro. Where did you come from, like, bro? <laughs> just the, the, stop dating these cute broke niggas. Stop, stop it. Y'all are wasting your time. He knew when he got there, he was only Damn, spending no the money on him. He knew that. Stop dating these dudes because they they, they jumped in your DM and. Please, y'all, please. These dudes, is that's weird. First of all, I'm never taking nobody out if I can't afford it, number one. Number yeah, two, bro. I'm not going to sit there and debate with you at the table. Well, I didn't know you was getting three Long Islands. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, bro. How much was the Long Islands? They probably was $10. Like, you got to chill. Y'all got to watch out, I, ladies. I'm sorry, but I know, Sharon, he, he didn't. I think he had alopecia, too. <laughs> My sister saying he had no eyebrows. That should have been a red flag. Exactly. He was out of broke. Like, that's, that's come all on, that man. He had the broke boy startup. I'm pretty sure he had either a charger outside or or he probably had something tinted out, bombed out. He getting money. Uh, come on. Applaud her for is that um she had her own money facts because i you know I, mean, I, I definitely want my daughter to make sure yo facts if you go out with any of these dudes make sure you got your own money and, and listen make sure you got your own transportation right ain't nothing wrong be like hey no i'm i'll meet you there she treated him like the hoe at the end yeah you know she's what? like i'm gonna pay for it i'm on the ass on the way out all right babe <laughs> see you later and then put him on the internet yeah i just, <laughs> I just took my babe out the <laughs> yeah, i told him to nah nah and hold my belt buckle yeah <laughs> you just make sure you all right right there don't yeah. say there. a goddamn thing till we get back in this car <laughs> right bro stop listen fellas hey, bro he didn't have see this thing that kills me man this thing kills me and I be hard on the younger generation because I, you know, I do believe they, they, you know, the generation before them didn't teach them how to, yes. how to date or even how to treat a woman. I, I'm not talking about a fast ass girl. I'm talking about a, a, a woman, woman, a real woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not, not open the doors, um, open the car doors, open the doors. You walking through a building, just treating them like, like a lady, man. They don't know. It, if you ask a girl out, man, make sure you got enough money to cover the bill. Please. And if you don't have enough money to cover the bill, let her know. Hey, listen, shorty. All I got is $100. Stay your ass in the house. You, you should already have budgeted or whatever. Yeah. 250 Just have 250 Until you get to the 250 mark, here's the here's the line. I'm going to give you all a gem, fellas. Here's the line you use. You can use it if you got kids or if you don't got kids. If she, she say, hey, listen, I'm, um, I want you know, want to go out or whatever. Say, hey, listen. I really got something to take care of for my mom for the next couple of weeks. Is, is, is it going to keep me a little busy? I got you, though. They you either use your mom or your grandma. They use don't somebody. never get mad at it, especially grandmoms. If you got an excuse. No, you be like, yo, look, I just, I just paid my bills. We're going to try to make this happen. If you, if you want to do that, that's cool. I like that. But some guys be a little timid. They don't want to tell all their real business. Yeah. So blank, <laughs> like, use your grandma as an excuse. That's my grandma. I got to take her. You know, I got to do some things until you get the money up and then boom. So that way you cool. But don't do that. That is a, that is a definite zero. Nah. And, and any woman that goes out with a supreme loser. Because if that happened more than once or twice, twice I could say. 
If that happened, you're picking the wrong. She picking, these. Yeah, you know what I mean. Your selection of men. She's picking the Ooh, wrong dude. Shorty, shorty. I don't, somebody need to teach you something. <sighs> uh, but then that that didn't look like a dinner. That looked like it was daytime. Look, this in the background. That's what I'm saying. It was like it could have been lunch, brunch. Come on, bro. Yeah. And now me myself, I'm an opportunist. If I see you ordering three Long Island iced teas, guess what? I'm going to get you a fourth. Because you know where it's going. 12 o'clock, you on your fourth Long Island. 2.30, we at the crib. Getting it in. Uh-oh. Yeah. Might want to slow down. Yeah, we, shorty. You on your fourth Long Island. I'm going to let you know where it's going from here. Water. You don't know what's happening at this. Yeah, you don't know what's about to happen after this. Well, I'm letting you know right now. Wow. One more Long Island, you, we know where it's going. Yo, that. Especially, especially the ones with the sheep liquor. Oh, they had you stripping in the <laughs> club. You hey, just... hey, you roasted, man. <laughs> oh, man, listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Yes. Tell us what you think. Was dude in the wrong? Or was she in the wrong for going out with him? Tell us, let us know. Let what y'all think? Yeah. This your podcast. She slide to the next one. Let's go. It's this drum podcast. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, this for you. Mm-hmm. Shit, what is it? Yeah. You know we got more money, right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's raining. Uh, you made it rain on her ass. Like, hey, what's your cash app? What's my cash app? Yeah. Um, do you have Apple Pay? Okay. Like, 2000 should be enough, right? That, yeah. Yeah. He ain't gonna do it. He not gonna do that. Ooh, that's so beautiful, man. Thank you. Hold on. He ain't doing it. He ain't doing it. He ain't doing it. He ain't doing it. But it's still money on the ground, right? It is. All the money on the ground. No. What do you yeah, doing? I'm taking your cash app so you can pay yourself. Hey, so how much you put in there? What's up? Hey, yeah, I don't do the small talk, man. We gonna get right to it. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get right to it. Hey, we gonna get right to it. I'm not, I'm not logged into my phone. cash app. I gotta I got text this. Baby, I'll see you next round, right there. Oh, it's a, yes, definitely. Check. Right, check, yeah. check, you hungry? check. Right, now let me I take am, you out. Is that the bro? Who tree started this? We gonna go to the strip club. I'm eating that dick. We don't even get stuck on strip club. All right. Hell no. Hell no. I don't know what to say no more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> listen, City, boys, listen, City boys down 100 million points. Listen here, dog. Listen here, man. I can't call him a simp. I just, I'm just going to call him insecure. Always leave with their money or their property or their objects, man. You know what I mean? Whatever whatever they got, whatever they driving, dog. Mm-hmm. A real man, we, real man don't need that. We don't need all that, dog. Mm-hmm. If I can't get you with the gift of gab, Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm good. I'm good. Wow. Ain't no way I'm paying somebody. If I had the money, I could be a millionaire. I'm not paying three grand for a piece of coochie. And and especially not no coochie that's been stretched all to hell. Clown. I, I have no other words for that type of behavior. At the end of the day, I can understand the whole uh, the flexing. If that's your thing. Okay, cool. But, bro. All the extraness. Okay, you threw the money up. Okay, cool. Yeah, All right, yeah. whatever. The cash app. We we get straight to it. That's not straight to it. Straight to it is just saying, yo, listen, I'm trying to do what's the, That's not straight to it. Of course, after you done did that, she's going to say yes. Number one, she's a porn she's star. She's a porn star. She want that money. What the hell? So you didn't. I, I can see if you finessed up again, Nia Long, Holly Berry, or somebody. She takes bongs. For a living, that's her occupation. <laughs> you just giving her another. Yeah, hey. You just giving her another resource <laughs> for work. You just another reference on her application. That's it. Yo, like, what are you doing? In my youth, I've dated a lot of strippers. Oh shit. Yeah, you know I man. You know, listen. I was, I was a young freak boy. Dog. You know, I was a little freak boy in my he youth. Was at the freak nick with what? it. What? <laughs> listen, man, because that that was like a challenge to me, man. I'm like, yo, man, you, I'm, I'm going to try to crack on this porn star. Oh, I'm going to try to see if it worked. Okay. But I ain't paying no money. Porn stars, but yeah, I definitely ain't yeah, paying. I ain't, I ain't paying no money, man. You, you got me chopped. <laughs> chopped and stirred. Oh, I'm going to pay you something. I'm pay you no goddamn mind. <laughs> oh, hey, my man, ooh, dog, let's give my man ooh in the building. Yeah. I'm tripping. Right? Like, yeah. come, uh, come on. That, that's like ultimate thirst to me. Let me see you pull her without, without all that. Take off your your flyers, clothes, put your leave your money at home, and let's see if you can yeah. do it. That, that's the true meaning of it. Like that's where the real yeah. sport in it comes in it. Like, but you know, again, see now this is the real reason why a lot of these young can't these young cats and women can't find love anymore yeah. because they watch this type of content, man, all over the internet, man. They think that 
it's really like that mm-hmm. when in reality it's not no nope. because guess what you gave her two grand and some other clown out there that's gonna give her five grand and then guess what you out of here yeah. you out of here so you didn't just now you wish to return on your investment now you, you the next brother in the charger you didn't got, say you the other brother in the charger from the auction you didn't even get a real one off the dealership <laughs> so you got the box from the auction and now <laughs> so, somebody didn't took your car so now they yeah. took your box and you know, now you ain't got no more money. You know, with a bad title? You got, <laughs> got you a you lemon. Got a, you got a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> got you a Hurricane Katrina car. Come on, man. You got, you wasted got, your money. You got a salvage title, dog. <laughs> What's like, up, Mickey? Yeah, How boy. You? you over there talking about damn. Come on, man. Boy, these, this boy. Boy, too many miles on this right. motherfucker. Too many miles on these shreds. Right. But as soon as he got in there, <coughs> he start coughing. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> you done got you a bad piece. That's Out of bad. control. You definitely get some shout outs to our people in the crib. What's up, Mickey? Thank you for joining us. How are you? If you jumped in, make sure you drop a like so that algorithm. Make sure y'all yeah, subscribe. Man, let us know what you channel. think about the homeboy dropping three stacks. Clown weirdo. Yeah, you know I mean, on a porn star. Talking about we get to it. Nothing. Hold on, before we go to the next video, dog. Somebody left a comment on um our last show. Um, they were from Philly. The one thing I love when someone from Philly jumps in our comments, man. They were like, "Yo, I'm from, you know, what I mean, this joint, you know, my my mom." It, he said his mother watched the show, and she's like, "I'm like, oh, that's what's up." I'm like, "Yo, man, big respect to you and your mom." Oh, man. I mean, listen, we appreciate the love from everybody, but we really, really appreciate the love from from Philly because you know, Philly's a folks. They rough. Philly rough, boy. Yeah. If, if somebody from Philly said they like any, if you can make it here, you can make it any. Yeah. Yeah, damn Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, that ain't nothing. <laughs> but you, oh. Listen, we threw snowballs at Santa Claus. We booed Destiny's Child at the finals because they had on Lakers jerseys. Did we? That's what they fucked up. They, they wore them. They don't know. They should have told them. They ain't know no. They ain't yeah, know no. Listen, you know, Jersey, no other sweatshirt, nothing like that, that from another team in Philadelphia. We ain't having that. Nope. It ain't going down. This your own podcast. Or this motherfucking woofer. Boy, yeah, I, I love this. Let me tell you something, man. This guy, yo, dog, let me tell you this quick story before we go next one, man. Look, as you know, my, my family from Kentucky. Oh. So, you know, the the, the Woodford Distillery is in, is in Kentucky. Okay. Uh, Louisville. So, one of the, um, I guess it exploded. Somebody did, it was bourbon all over the street. Mm, it was lake in the street. God. <laughs> They had cats out there with buckets, dog. <laughs> and I was one of them. <laughs> now that bourbon out there. <laughs> yeah, there what T over there harassing the Ubu, man. Uh oh. T Lee Ubu alone. Oh, please. <laughs> All right, so we start to that next video. Let's go. Let's go man. Peanut kick this off as usual. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. <clears throat> Let's go. What's your biggest turnoff in guys? <laughs> when they don't work out. Oh, really? See. Hold on, dog. Let me look at this. So, what do you guys prefer in a guy? Really rich, really black, at least six five. Six five? Yeah. Did she say really rich and black? Yeah, just lots of money, really. Like a a yacht and stuff? Yeah, yeah. That kind of thing, huh? Can buy me fancy things, (laughs) take me on trips. Between men or women, who has a harder life? Absolutely women. women. Why? We bleed for a uh, week a month. Um, we are f- <laughs> we're sexualized everywhere we Shit. go. Yeah, like Jesus. pack holes. Yeah. Yo, don't come Absolutely. at him like that. <laughs> the parking lot kind of tried to steal me before. Not me. How are you going to steal you? Okay. We can. We can. No. Yeah. No, yeah. Let's go. I got like 20 girlfriends back at the crib. Oh, yeah. 22 then. I'm okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? We have a harder life. <laughs> Yo. I'm not gonna come at him like that, dog. All I'm saying is that big girls need loving too, dog. And something that keep you keep you warm during the winter. Keep you warm during the winter. Listen. If you got two of them, dog, you gotta open your arms a little long, a little wider. Listen, I tore my rotator cuff when I was about six, <laughs> 18, 19, so I can't even stretch that far. No disrespect. <laughs> like I can't believe her big ass said the gym. Definitely just, delusion. They, sometimes the devil lie. Like just sometimes. Sometimes the devil lie. They look like you ever see them trash cans that be on a um be on a boardwalk. Yo, dog. The shit just be thrown all in it. It just be all kind of different stuff because the boardwalk. Whatever people got, they just come on. They look like yeah. two of them big ass barrel trash cans. Talking about the gym. 
She was knock knee, pigeon toe, uh, like she. She gonna die. Oh my God. I'm no. trying to chill. Oh, she. Do you say she would knock me? No, Kaylee. She was <laughs> all of it. Like, come on. Nah, listen, man. Shout out to big women. Big women that are beautiful. Oh, oh listen, dog. There's some big. Them two were not on that list. They were definitely on the opposite list. <laughs> With the, but at the Apollo, they want they want they men to to work out. They want they men in the. So the gym, I'm pumping iron. I go, I go to the gym six days a week. So I come home from the gym. I'm all sweaty. I'm tired. I didn't really put that work in. And you over there eating half done uh, packed slabs of bacon. Hey, like they, eating it. I hey, commissary. They cooked the whole pack of bacon. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I'm asking you, well, damn, how come you ain't open the door? I asked you to open. <gasps> come on. Okay. You said big women need love too. And I, I do agree with that. You want her big ass on top of you? Now, nah, listen. listen no, first of all, first of all, my showing for you don't cover big girl oh. loving now i got like a uh 40 deductible on my mm, no she would again she don't speak for all big women nah but nah, just nah, i nah, got nah, to come nah, straight nah, at her nah, she nah. was a if, mess if she was trolling then she did a hell of a job she, if she wasn't trolling then she was seriously delusional super delusional yeah i was saying she was seriously delusional though. my sister said it unrealistic delusional entitled and the outfits was trash. She, said she agrees, but I agree with a thousand percent. Hold on. Now. You mean to tell me you don't like the trailer park wear? Hell no. no. That, that was a trailer park wear, dog. You don't like the trailer park? My breath smell like cigarettes, old pennies, and like old potatoes. It's, like, it's like old bag of pennies. And I stuck between her tooth and her gum. That's what she looked like. She smelled yeah, like. Damn. So so how they like sucking on a nickel. Yes. You got that, and got ear, that motherfucking metal taste in your mouth. And earwax. <laughs> and, and earwax. You said how they breathe. She, oh, you, you, you said you, you want me to get you something for the front of the store. I see they got sour. Pack. Give me a Mountain Dew. Like, oh, mm. man, boy. Listen, this joint podcast. She God was out of pocket. It. Out of pocket. Y'all raw each and every week. Let's see. Y'all yeah, I mean, having fun, having good laughs. Oh man, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, tell yeah. us what you think. Yeah. Man, we enjoyed the love tonight. Yeah, we appreciate God everybody damn. tuning in, man. Now we, had, we had number six. Oh, we had number six already. God damn. damn. I know one thing for sure, bro. That 100 mark episode. Oh, I'm gonna be. Man, we doing that joint for two hours. Yeah, I might have my shirt off in here. I'm gonna be so excited. Oh, sh- <laughs> he was trying to come in with that six day a week body. <laughs> uh, try and get our views up like OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> the T, stop that T. Stop that tape. What do you say, uh, young mini at the Walmart line? Said, Walmart, Walmart Spring 2000 line is out of stock. That's, that's it? Yes. She, she that type of girl say, yeah, I'm going down the shore. No, we're going to the beach, girl. <laughs> Come on, chill. Like, girl, you don't, don't go to the beach. <laughs> Somebody might mistake you for a beach. Right, well. right. Oh, shit, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> right. Kids amusement ride. Come on, mommy. Can we get on that ride? It's her trying to tie her shoe. What? That's out to the next video. Let's go. <laughs> It's Fish Jump Podcast. Yeah. Let's go. Judy is not a deal breaker for me. I think the more I mature mm-hmm. and the older I get, I'm realizing like asking somebody to be your person for the rest of your life when you start a relationship, because I be looking for marriage. So I'm looking for the rest of my life when I start a relationship with somebody, because oh, if you're not, then you shouldn't be with that person. But yeah, um, that's a lot to ask. For somebody to be like that, everything for you for like the next 60 years, because I swear I'm going to live to like I- I'm 100 or 90 okay. um, and I'm 30 something right now. So, baby, I'm do you, I really think I'm going to be the only person that you ever deal with for the next 60 years? Like you're never, ever going to slip up ever in life. It's very possible, sis. Mm-hmm. I just feel like that's really unrealistic. Like, really unrealistic and a lot to ask. Like, I feel like you're going to fuck up, but just fuck up, like, respectfully. And tell what? me. I, I, I didn't know that was even possible. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how you can fuck up respectfully. Yeah. I mean, listen, what that's either giving me crazy or giving me insecure. You know what I mean? But if she's run, I, well, I'm going to say this. At a certain age, men stop sleeping around. Thanks. You know what I mean? So if she's run into a lot of men who who are continuously sleeping around, then she maybe she need to she need to change us around. Yeah, she need to change us around or your screening process sucks.
Facts. You know what I mean? Because again, as I mean, cause that shit is draining. I mean, you lose a piece of your soul every time you you knock a joint off. You oh, lose a piece of goodness. a piece of yourself, man. I, I again, as a former uh, like VIP member of the Cheat Squad. I, That's what I'm saying. Oh my God, I couldn't even fathom it now. It's just, it's, it's annoying. Like it is again. I love women. I love y'all. I really do. But trust me, I, and I didn't know this, but one of y'all is definitely enough. It is. I'm about just yo, one of y'all is definitely bro. enough. Oh, bro. I couldn't juggle right now. Just, I'm over here, do with you, and then I got to do it. I got to keep the line. Can you imagine? I'm, that shit is tiring. I'm burnt yo. out. Burnt out. So, like, again, at the end of the day, if you can juggle your women, still don't cheat. But if you want to be, do your own thing, fine. But, like, the, the, the part to me that's mm. the most draining is the, the deceitful part. Is I got to keep up this lie, or I got to keep up this facade, and then again with social media. I remember one time, my homie had a birthday uh, party. His girl had, had a um, a getaway. We all went to the Poconos, mm. so we up there. Him, his girl, her friends, me, as all as a whole bunch of us, probably like 15, 20 of us. He's in a picture. It's me, a couple other people. He in the back of the picture, not even facing the camera, <laughs> talking to somebody else. He got in trouble. Some girl he was messing with was like, oh, I see. He was all in the background. So it's like with social media now, it's just too much. You know, you never know. People everywhere doing the most. I don't have time for I, I have no time for that. So yeah. sis, she just gotta find the right. She gotta go somewhere else. The guys where she ever she at, they into the BS. And again, if you a man, you got stuff to do and you got goals, that is the last thing that's on your Listen. mind is let me go, let me go Listen. cheat. The hell? I'm about to drop a quick knowledge for all my all my my home girls out there. Nobody is gonna love you harder than a broke man. Because <laughs> if a man a man with something to do, who he got a job and he got responsibilities, hey, listen here, baby, I ain't got time for that marathon. You're gonna get these motherfucking 20 bumps. Oh, oh, oh and then I'm gonna get my ass in the bank. Cause guess what? I make that money tomorrow morning. This is my guy right here, but I do not uh I do, <laughs> I do not subscribe <laughs> to uh that <laughs> version of the story. But you gonna get these listen these good 20s dog well you, i must be from from kenya or something because i'm in the marathon i'm trying to win the marathon so it could be the middle of the night you said what you you want to do what let me let me get about 10 of these push-ups get my get my blood running right, let me get 20 of these push-ups to get my blood flowing and we good but if shorty continuously be picking these men i don't like i said i don't know if it's it could be a, a insecurity thing man with her but Again, when a man reaches a certain age, man, he he don't have time to do all that lying and cheating because he he, he got shit to do. Oh, yeah, he true. got shit to do. You know what I mean? And that shit is taxing. Can you? I'm gonna tell y'all, women, so right now, it is so taxing to lie and get a woman out of your house. What? Uh, yo, what you got planned? What you gonna do? <laughs> don't get comfortable. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go pick my mom up. From the hospital, so you, you, I mean, you lying like so a you said you about to go do something uh, uh, <laughs> right there to go. Um, you ain't got you gotta go pick your son up or something. <laughs> that shit is so taxing, man. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, men. I mean, we, oh my god, man, the stigma on us men. Listen, I was, uh, again, I, I'll be honest. You know, I, I go to therapy. I'm, I'm, I'm I've been uh, working on my accountability for the last couple of years. I was a part of the VIP club. I was there, and. Looking back, I'm just like, what was I doing that for? <laughs> like, yeah. I was causing myself all this stress for no reason, no real reason. Because again, half of them women, I don't know where they at. They mm -hmm. don't give a damn about me now. So it was like, what was the point? Like I did all of that for no reason. Yeah. And, and just like Ooh said, cheating is for the youngins. Because I mean, I mean, I guess it was the thrill of it, trying to ooh, I can maneuver this and do this. That she ain't know and da da da. And it's just a waste of time. Yeah, but you know, the moment I knew I was getting older was when I had a, a, a female in my bed and I didn't press, she didn't give me no sex. Cause I oh, turned yeah. over and I went straight to sleep. Listen. That's how you know. Okay, cool. Listen, I I knew probably about, I don't know, eight, nine months ago, I went out to this party. I mean, girl was all over me, twerking and all of that. And all I'm thinking in my head is, I wonder if she likes to argue. <laughs> That's what you think about. She you, don't even, you don't even think about, I wonder if she got good sex. But I'm like, I wonder if she's the argumentative type. Because if, 
I take her to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> is she going to be like getting on my ner- Nope. I was like, nah. She's like, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I got a girl. Yeah, I can't do this. Sorry. I don't even want to waste your- My favorite line is, I don't even want to waste your time. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, I, I think that's universal, dog. Because I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I kicked that too, dog. <laughs> I'm cool. I don't got time for this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, what, my man, ooh, and T, boy. Oh, T be dropping that knowledge, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, 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 that's why they're both my favorites. I love all y'all, man. I, I, I love these comments that y'all be leaving us. Yes, yes. Keep them, keep them coming, man. We love the engagement, man. We, yeah, we are building a family, man. man I know, man. We appreciate the family. We been, listen, we almost at three thousand subscribers, man. We are continuously growing. You know what I'm saying? I love that, man. I love it. This is therapeutic for us. It is. We enjoy coming, getting on air, and popping our stuff, and talking shit and laughing with y'all. Exactly. So let's just keep it coming, man. Ah, the very last one. Buckle up. Put your seatbelt on. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Peanut? Well, I've been rapping so much, man. Here we go. Now let's let Peanut get it off. It's this Jump Podcast. Oh. Now let's go. There's a stat on Facebook, and basically it says men are not obsessed with women like they used to be. Y'all don't find that kind of weird? And to be honest, mm. no, I don't find that kind of weird. Because what exactly is there for men to be obsessed with in today's world? Women have left no room for imagination, none whatsoever. It's like your sense of entitlement is out of control. Your expectations are unrealistic. Y'all walk around showing mm. your bodies half dressed, half exposed 24 7, out smoking, drinking, partying 24 7, on the scene 24 7. A lot of y'all are not even coming with nothing to the table because you're too busy with your hand out trying to see what man got the next bag so he can sponsor your lifestyle to make you look like you're living a lifestyle to post on the internet. It's like a lot of y'all don't have common sense. A lot of y'all don't know how to hold a conversation. Well, she dropping. A lot of y'all wow. don't have no original. Damn. Everybody is getting we the got same the body. Everybody is getting the same hairstyle. Everybody looks like <laughs> yeah, I need to put that on there. Like, y'all get that confused. Oh, well, men like that. No, men will fuck that. Come on but now. men are not wiping that and they're not cuffing that. And I think y'all are starting to realize that. And then the first thing y'all want to say is, oh, well, they're gay. They're sassy. No, they're not. <laughs> They're just tired of what you guys are presenting. Mm-hmm. And if y'all are here to give them free pussy, free looks, and free everything they ain't got to work for, uh, why would they? Ooh. But they're never going to take you serious. So it seems to me like a lot of y'all are now starting to realize that you're either losing value or have lost value from chasing attention. And now that's something that y'all got to deal with and y'all can't face that fact. Men love women that are exclusive. Women mm. that are put up. On, women that man. every man can't say he, he has or can't have. Bombs. Simple as that. Yeah, you know what, man? That, 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 man, protect that sister. Yeah, wherever she is, protect that sister. I mean, the, the thing is, uh, I don't want to say a lot because I mean we do got some of the simps out there, but a lot of a, men nowadays are realizing their self worth. Worth. I mean, because uh, men, us men, we see how society beat us. We see how the government beat us down. We see how the some of these women beat us down. How even Hollywood, Thanks. there are no good men in Hollywood eyes. Shit, we can't even get a lead role in movies anymore. Mm-hmm. A lot of these, a lot of these young guys see how their fathers and uncles were just tore down, homeless through through divorce. How women just completely just trash men, and they don't want to go through that anymore. Yeah, I think it's I think it's like you said. Um, a lot of men are starting to notice their self-worth. So at the end of the day, you know, they always say like, oh, women will be like, because I'm not trying to settle. I'm not trying to settle. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of times the men be settling because you get a woman, she's combative or she's she's abusive or she has her own you know, flaws or whatever. And women will say stuff like, oh, well, that's just who I am. You got to accept me for who I am. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, wow, I got to accept all the BS that you come with, but me, I got to have it all together. You think about it. Uh, most women want men who, I don't want to say most, let me take that back. A lot of women want men at their peak. Oh, he has to be here. He has to have all this, da 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 da. So she still want him here. And he that has to happen. be at the top. But it's like, I got to accept you when you either mid or <laughs> you might be mediocre. And it's like, no, I know my worth. I know that I'm, I'm worth getting the right type of woman. And so, mm-hmm. again, the the woman that's shown the one thing I think good women should start doing on a regular basis is number one, differentiating yourself. Stop looking like Definitely them. Stop out, going yeah. where they go. Stop doing what they do. Stop saying they, they, they their sayings. That's number one. Number two, really put it out there that no, that's not us. 
because you'll see the women that you know the the, the instagram women or whatever say like nah we ain't that ain't us we ain't, we ain't with that and and now you're starting to see women starting to do that like no nah, we ain't a part of that because it's like we don't know if y'all are not saying that this is a, not a good thing you might hear one or two women say it but if you don't see it in masses you think oh then everybody like this yeah everybody likes sexy red you think you'll think that because it's like well we're the women and now you see women like nah we ain't with that she doing too much so it's like they got to keep up that momentum so us as men we like all right we can separate the the sexy reds from the from the real women because okay, sometimes the the there are some gr great women out there but you dress like the hoes you acting like the hoes you listening to what the hoes listen to you go where the hoes go so it's like how do we know how we do i know, know if you a hoe or not i don't you i can't tell because you you you're mirroring the image they are so it's like just be different like she said differentiate yourself like elevate yourself yeah we want exclusive like she said, men will smash. Men will smash anything damn near with a hole. So know that, and know that. Okay, be a little bit different. You don't. You don't have to be all the way to the to the left or all the way to the right. But just be different from what you see, because most men, that's what they're looking for. We'll go out to a party or a bar or whatever. You see the ratchet, you know. You're like, all right, cool. That corner over there, I'm not going nowhere near that. I'm gonna be over here. That's how we move. So it's just like. These women that are being like flaunted, we over that. It's okay. We we, we y'all been doing that for Listen, the last. It, it's, it's done with, man. I mean, things, things are changing, man, and things are changing for for the best. Remember, the child support laws are changing. No no fault divorce is just it's about to be out of there. I, I don't want to say it's the men era, but guess what? The chickens are coming home to roost. I mean, chickens I think, are coming home to roost. I think like. That whole uh, what is it? Happy, happy wife, happy life. I think that's over with. I think okay. it's happy spouse, happy house because it's about both of us now. Yep. We're not yep. putting one over the other. The man ain't better than the woman. Woman ain't better than the man. It's partnership, and I think that's where we need to go. Where listen, you the you the you the prize, and I'm the prize. You bring something to the table, or you bring in the table. I'm bringing the table, or you know we can have two can, tables, can, make this table uh, bigger yep, right now. These women out here don't have nothing to bring to the table getting left out in the cold. <laughs> Listen, hey, you said at that kitty table. <laughs> hey, you said at that kitty table. It's like you gotta you gotta understand. We deserve something too, ladies. Okay. Yeah. We ain't gotta just accept the, you know, the bare minimums. We want we want the best too. And so as long as we keep each other accountable and men step up and be men and don't be like a uh, homeboy in that first video, <laughs> like be some real men, do some real things to get your woman some flowers or, you know, stuff like that. And women, be women, be feminine. Do I ain't say you got to be man. a pushover, but be feminine. And, and again, this whole soft girl era thing, errors come and go. We had the era of the... Of the jerseys that came and went. We had the snap music era. Errors come and go. So it shouldn't be soft girl era. Because at the end of the day, I'm always masculine. No matter if I'm, I meet a girl and she's a city girl, or if I meet a woman and she's sophisticated and got us, my masculine well, is always going to be there. Well, so, like, I need y'all women to always be feminine. Yeah, and Sukiyan. <laughs> it's a deal breaker. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, yeah, they, they shouldn't be running the culture. So, oh, man. Like, yeah, they shouldn't, man. They we we got to do it together. We we push them away. Women, we need y'all to get them out of here. Yeah, this joint podcast. You, you heard me, man. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Thank you for enjoying the show. I'm saying, Drake, thank you for watching the show. We appreciate you. Enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Like this, John. Hey, John. tell us what you think about this show. Hit us Subscribe with the HBO special. John. The homeboy lookout, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We will see y'all next week. And this John podcast. Deuces, man. We out. Later.